competitive world. We each and every one are facing one or the other competition. Especially the school students. For them, even the school exam. Yes, few students even consider the normal uh, school exams like their unit test, FA exams and all. Even they consider these exams as a competition. So, we each and every one deal with one or the other competition nowadays. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about the competitive exam. Especially the scholarship exam. Each and every state conducts scholarship exam and other competitive exam. So, how to face this competitive exam? How to crack this exam? How to get success in this exam? All these things we are going to discuss in this video. This video is going to be very helpful who takes this competitive exams very seriously. Yes, the students were very serious in this competitive exam, scholarship exams and all. For them, this video is going to be very helpful because I am going to share many key factors or many helpful tips in this video. So please do watch this video till end if you want to crack your competitive exams easily. The very first point, know the right reason. Yes, whichever exam you are going to appear, is it really necessary for you? Why you are going to attempt it? What is the reason for that? So the reason for attempting any exam must be quite clear in your mind. Yes, I am going to write this exam for so and so reason. So the first thing, the reason must be quite clear to you. Now once you come to know the reason that why you are going to attempt this so and so competitive exam or scholarship exam, the very next thing is know the needs of that particular exam. Needs of that particular exam is what is going to be the syllabus for that? What exactly you have to study for that particular exam? So all these things you have to check. So focus only on that particular thing. Once you know the correct syllabus, once you know the correct track, it will save your time. Means you will not waste your time on reading any unnecessary things. So you will focus only on the required syllabus. So the second thing is know the correct syllabus. thing okay now the third factor is when you start your preparation means from the day when you fill the application form just check how much time you have in your hand from the day you fill the form and till the exam date check how much time you have in your hand accordingly you have to plan your studies yes because now you know your syllabus, next is you have to plan your studies properly. You have to plan that time span properly. You have to use that time efficiently. Efficiently in the sense, means we have to check how to get the maximum benefit from the available time. Now if you have more time in your hand, okay, if you have sufficient time in your hand, then Spend some initial days on reading the syllabus. Now suppose if you are appearing for scholarship exam, then spend time on reading the textbooks. Okay, whatever of the syllabus book, spend time in reading that. And later, when you have less time with you or if you start your preparation at last moment, unfortunately, if you don't get time initially to focus on the studies, at last moment, what you have to do, Focus only on paper solving. Yes, I always suggest that paper solving is the best way to prepare yourself for any exam. Yes, it is the best technique to prepare yourself. So, at the last moment when you have less time, focus only on paper solving. Paper solving gives you the clear idea that what type of questions are going to come in exam. Whether you will be able to solve this paper in the allotted time or no. So paper solving helps you a lot. So focus on paper solving. Now here 
clear the basic difference between your regular school exam and this competitive exam is time factor yes time factor here in competitive exam time is very less means you have to attempt more number of questions in less time for example for this scholarship exam you have to attempt 90 questions in 90 minutes so this is the basic difference in your regular school exam and your scholarship exam so time factor is the most important factor in this competitive exam each and every second is important yes even a fraction of second is important when you are in the exam hall while writing the competitive exam paper while attempting the competitive exam so as i said time factor is important each and every second is important so for this exam knowing only the concepts means knowing only how to solve this sum or knowing only the methods of solving the sum is not sufficient you should be fast in your calculation fast quick and perfect next thing not only the solving methods you must know even the shortcut methods yes you must know the shortcut tips and tricks how to solve the sums yes there are many shortcut tips and tricks which we can apply while solving this paper we'll be discussing about all those tips and tricks in my upcoming videos so here what you have to do you have to make minimum use of pencil and paper for solving yes minimum use only when and where it is necessary you have to make use of pencil and paper to solve the sums means to do the working of sums means what many sums you have to solve mentally there are many calculations which you can do mentally so you have to avoid the use of pen and paper or pencil and paper for working yes many questions we can solve mentally as i said i'll be uploading the video very soon where you will come to know the meaning of all these things why i am telling you that make minimum use of pencil and paper for working out the sum because the paper it consists of 90 questions and 90 minutes this doesn't mean that you have to spend one minute for one question no there are few questions which you can solve or which you can answer in just 5 seconds, 10 seconds. You will come across few questions where you will have to spend more than a minute or sometimes 2 minutes or you may take even more than 2 minutes. So, this doesn't mean that you have to solve one question in one minute. No, you have to just go on solving. go on solving what is the meaning of this see at the time of other exam when you get the question paper in your hand for first five minutes you just go through the questions oh this is the question this is the question this is the paper pattern here you are not supposed to do that as soon as the paper comes in your hand as soon as the paper comes in your hand straight away you have to start solving yes you have to start solving and it is expected okay it is expected that before coming in the exam hall you have already practiced a lot you have already saw the question paper so this gives you the clear idea that what type of questions are going to come in exam so straight away hit the easy questions yes it is not necessary that you have to start solving from the first question one two three four five six no following the order is not important here straight away hit the questions straight away solve the questions which are quite easy which are very less time consuming and later you come across the time consuming questions for example in gmat paper in paper one of scholarship exams in gmat paper the initial part it's little bit difficult yes sometimes the students find it little bit difficult but the later half or the questions which are almost at the end 
are quite easy. So you can straight away go to those questions, answer those questions first and then come to the first questions. Miss the questions which are in the first list. So it is not necessary to follow the order. Don't waste time in reading the paper. Straight away start solving. Hit the easy questions first. Same rule you can follow in the paper too. That is set paper. Even here we have science, maths and SST. So whichever part you find it easy. Now suppose it's easy for you to answer the SST questions. Straight away go for that part. Start answering those questions. Start marking these questions. Later you can go for science part. And at last you can come to the maths part. Because here solving takes some time. Or if you are quite comfortable with maths. Okay, if you find that maths part is very easy and I can score full marks in this maths part. So first attempt the maths questions. So it all depends on you. Whichever you find it easy, solve those questions first and later face the difficult questions. Next thing, whatever you solve, whichever answers you mark, A, B, C, D, mark it confidently. Means here the next important factor is your confidence. What was our first important factor? Time. Time is very important in this exam. And next is your confidence. Yes. Whatever you mark, whatever you read, read it with confidence, answer it with confidence, mark your answer with confidence. Confidence is going to help you a lot. In this competitive exams. Now, last but not the least one. Attempt each and every question. Even if you don't know the answer. Oh my god, I don't know anything of this. Don't waste time. Whichever you feel, yes, this may be the right answer. Mark it. Because if you leave the question blank there are zero percent chances of getting marks but if you mark at least one option there are at least 50 percent chance of getting the right answer means there are at least 50 percent chance that whatever you have ticked may be the right answer so don't leave any question blank as i said here i am focusing on the scholarship exam where we have two papers of 90 marks. That is one is GMAT and one is SAT. If possible, watch this video once again. Listen to all the points once again. Think over it and accordingly face your exam. I assure you 100% success in your exam. And one more thing I would like to tell you. Practice as much as possible. Yes, practice as much as possible. And... If it is possible for you, you can take the help of any teacher or any class or anything for the guidance where they will help you with some tips and tricks to solve this paper. Of course, our YouTube channel is there. Our Rishwaraj classes is there where we always try to help our students. So in my upcoming videos, we will be solving the maths questions from the SAT paper. And while solving, I will share the important tips and tricks, some shortcut methods, how to deal with the math sums of your scholarship exams. So, my dear students, please be with us. Please do subscribe our YouTube channel so that you will get the regular updates of such useful and important videos. And please do share this video among your friends. My dear students, thank you so much for watching this video.